Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to manage the merchandising slides on your website. The merchandising slides are going to be on the home page and it's those scrolling slides or banners. We'll usually set you up with three to get you started, but really you could have as many slides as you want rotating through. So in the command center from the main page, in the quick link section, going to click on manage merchandising slides and that's going to bring up the offer queue and the offer queue is listing out the three slides that I currently have going through and if I wanted to turn one off all I have to do is uncheck the box save changes and it will remove that slide from the queue and it will show up in the archive tab so you can go back into your archive and easily turn a slide back on and adjust if you want it to run indefinitely or a date range. Now I'm going to go back to the queue. If you want to change the order or the sequencing of the slides you can do a drag and drop. The top slide would be seen first when you hit the website. And then if you want to add slides we have factory promotions this would not apply to medical websites but for power sports tires outdoor power equipment in marine if you have OEM brands enabled on your website the factory promotions option will list out the brands that are currently running those national rebates and promotions and when you click into a category it'll list out the slides for the current promotions that are going on so I'm going to go ahead and add this slide to my offer queue. And with this factory promotion, we know what the end dates are. So that slide is going to turn off automatically on its own. And we can see that here in the offer queue. It'll expire in 54 days. We also have pre-designed offers. Depending on the industry you have, may dictate which brands and categories you see for these slides. So there's a tab for brands. There's a tab for offer groups, which could be brands, product categories, holiday categories, social media, and a bunch of other fun stuff. And when you click into these categories, it'll list out the pre-designed slides. And again, each one will have an add to offer queue button below it. And when you go to add to the queue with these pre-designed offers, you have a timeline option. So you could have it run indefinitely. It would stay on there until you turn it off manually. Or if you want to put in a start and end date, you would have to uncheck the box. Then both fields run grayed there. And we could set that start date, put in an end date, and hit save. And with that last slide that I added, it's still in the queue, but it's scheduled to start in one day. So you can have a combination of slides here in the queue. You can have active slides and slides scheduled to be active. Let's say you want to add your own slide. We have the custom offer option which would allow you to put in a title that doesn't display on the website but it would display in the offer queue as the main title for your slide you can also put in a banner link it's optional but you could put a link in there that you want your slide to link to it could be a page on your website or it could be a whole other website altogether and then you have your timeline option and then you'd be able to browse and upload the slide off your computer. However, your slide would need to be sized properly before you upload. So on my demo site here, I have the smaller merchandising slides, and the dimensions are 760 by 245. Some of you may have the wider slides. If you don't have that sidebar widget bar on your homepage, you'd have a full width banner. And that dimension or dimensions would be 960 by 309. Then the overall file size needs to be 200K or less. And then once you have your image sized and saved to your computer, you'd be able to browse and upload. 
So I'm going from the browse view to the upload tab. You would click on select files. Select the banner off your computer. Once it's done uploading, you can go back to your browse view and select that image. And then you would click on the choose button. And I'm going to go back in and title this. I'm just going to pull up another page off of this site to use as the URL that I want to link to. I'm going to save. Now I have a, another banner. So I'm going to go ahead and save again. I'm going to go on the website drop down and publish my website changes. Now I can go back to the home page and refresh or reload the page. So I'm going to go from offer queue to preview by date. And you can select a date range to filter by. The archive will display any slides you have turned off. Configure display has a option here to check to limit the display to five slides so even if you had seven active slides in your queue it would only display five on the website then you have different styles style one has a limit of ten slides so you can have up to ten slides with style one and it has little thumbnail images for each slide so I'm gonna go ahead and save and publish that and then we'll see here it's going to change from those numbers to the thumbnail images. Now I'm going to go back to the display. Then we have style 2, which is unlimited slides. And it uses an even smaller thumbnail image. And then style 3, what I originally had, the maximum is 30 slides, and it uses the little numbers down below instead of the thumbnail images. So that's all there is to it for merchandising slides. Thanks for your time.